me. Please share with us the last three weeks. What has it been like for you? Um, hello, hello. Uh, I just, obviously, we've gone around and everyone's kind of shared the last three weeks, so I just kind of want to talk about what each, everybody else has brought to the table, because I think that's flown under the radar, and I think that's extremely important to, to notice. Um, I mean, Jared has taken me in as a little brother, and he's given me, you know, tons of advice. Like I said, he took us out to eat, even when I wasn't playing. Um, he took, <laughs> I mean, yes. he took a, every road trip, he took care of us, and he made sure that we had someone to hang out with and to eat with. Shump, obviously, defensive guy who just doesn't get the same credit that he deserves. He wasn't even invited to the rookie sophomore game. Wasn't even invited, man. God. Dang it. And he comes out every night and he guards the other team's best player and he shuts them down and uh, you know that's that's unbelievable. Um, obviously Landry, uh, my sits next to me on the airplane and we just talk about life. Um, and uh, he's given me a lot of advice just with what he went through last year with going through understanding New York and, and different things like that and. Um, you know, obviously the thing that stuck out to me was uh, after one of the games, he only had like four shots or something like that. So I went up to him. I was like, hey, sorry, I didn't get you the ball more. And uh, he immediately said, hey, bro, don't worry about anything. This is a lot bigger than just me. And when I heard that, I realized, I mean, you couldn't find a more unselfish teammate. And uh, that was Landry. Um, Tyson, obviously, he comes in, he just won a championship, and the only thing he talks about every single day is just winning another one, and that's all he's worried about. Yeah! And he, oh. he, he doesn't mind taking zero shots, playing defense, and getting 12 rebounds. He doesn't mind doing that, and uh, I mean, he's just a glue guy who anchors our defense every single night, and uh, I mean, obviously, we all think he should have been in the All-Star game as well. Yeah. Uh, he <laughs> I mean, superstar, all-star over here. I mean, he's taking me under his wing, too. There's not a timeout that goes by where he doesn't give me his advice. Um, and everything that I'm going through, he's been through. And, uh, he's, and he's been right in my ear the whole way, every step of the way, just teaching me. Um, and, and, and people need to know that about him, too, because obviously he's known for his scoring and things like that. But um, he's definitely given me, you know, so much advice, I can't even, like every single time out, just advice, advice, advice. And so um, it's helpful to have someone who's been through everything point me in the right direction. Um, and then we got Amari over there. I mean, you can't ask for anything more. Yeah. 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 What he went through. <laughs> What he went through uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I'm not going to pretend like I know what it's like, but for him to come back with a bright smile on his face and to just put his head down and go to, go to work and go to battle for this team.